Hey everyone, James Reeves with TFB TV. Welcome to TFB TV Gun Fest, where we're covering new releases from all your favorite manufacturers for 2021. I've got with me today a very close personal friend of mine, I would like to thank now, Ranka with Zastava Arms. Some of you may remember SHOT Show, I wanna say 2018 or so. We're walking by, going from manufacturer to manufacturer. I'm in an area that I call the dungeon yeah. at, at, at the time, and I, and I see a Zastava sign, I'm like, hold on a second. Zastava, are they importing their own guns? And this was a big deal because many of us may know that Zastava makes some of the best AKs in the world. And now Zastava is importing their own stuff instead of going through importers and exporters. And if you could, Ranko, just briefly give us a history of Zastava and of the importation now of the Zastava firearms. First, I want to thank you for hosting us here. And with the SHOT Show being canceled, this is huge help to the industry. To let people know uh, We're glad what's to have coming you. up yeah. in uh, 2021. Yeah, Zastava factory started business in uh, 1853. That was a long time ago. They started uh, with casting cannons and church bells, which, which was a great business idea at that time. Uh, either you needed cannons, if that didn't work for you, you needed church bells for sure. So, <laughs> and uh, very quickly they uh, developed to be uh, one of the major uh, manufacturers in the region. Uh, and. Uh, uh, factory uh, was completely destroyed twice uh, in, throughout uh, history, one in World War One, then in World War Two, and heavily damaged in the 90s. Uh, uh, over 40% of the factory was uh, destroyed. Uh, and then today you have uh, uh, 2,500 employees uh, who uh, work very hard and the factory exports to 40 countries in the world. So we are very proud to represent them here in, in, the, in the United States. Right, and let's talk about that. Then you guys, a few years back, instead of going through like a third party importer, you decided to start importing stuff yourself. That way nobody screws with it. It comes out top quality as you w intended it to from yes, the factory. Yes, we, we work directly with the factory. Uh, uh, as you know, some of the rifles have to be uh, slightly modified. Mm -hmm. uh, 922 R compliance is in play, and uh, but the idea behind uh, uh, Zasta Arms USA was also to build a brand. Uh, previous importers uh, uh, would import this and use it to build their own brands. Uh, uh, so that's why Zasta Arms USA was formed. Uh, we started a few years ago uh, at the Shot Show. Uh, uh, you were one of the first people who interviewed us. Uh, besides selling firearms, we also uh, support our products by selling uh, accessories and parts. We warranty our product, we uh, repair them for uh, free of charge. Uh, shipping also included uh, in the repair, so if your uh, firearm breaks down, we will ship it to our warehouse uh, free of charge and ship it back to you. And that turned out to be a a huge uh, help to the to the shooters. We also like to uh, expand our sales beyond sales itself and uh, talk about the history of Zastava. And we notice that your reviews uh, very often go uh, beyond the product itself, uh, and because the history is uh, is very important. You know, when people know a backstory, then they appreciate the product uh, a little bit more. And uh, history of uh, firearms in Serbia is very, very uh, uh, similar to history in the United States and uh, firearms are part of identity of American people as well as Serbian people and uh, our, our history has a lot of uh, points where uh, we came together like World War I, uh, Serbia and, and the United States were allies. By selling firearms we want to also highlight these uh, alliances that we had uh, between Serbian and American people and uh, uh, I have here a little gift for you to get you prepared you know for future rever uh, uh, reviews for the for the history uh, first one is a guide uh, to the museum of Zastava uh, in the factory there is uh, uh, a building one of the oldest buildings uh, uh, in the factory and uh, uh, there is a museum and this is the guide. Uh, in the back, you have a short summary in English. Uh, rest is Serbian, so uh, you can. Uh, I'm gonna have to get on my Duolingo. Yes, then, and yeah. uh, there is a lot of uh, uh, information there uh, how it started and uh, and uh, a lot of useful information about the firearms itself. And then uh, in World War II, there was uh, there was an event that's uh, not very well known in, uh, to the public because it was classified. 
right after it happened. The largest rescue mission of uh, U.S. Uh, airmen in the history of uh, United States military. And over 500 American pilots were saved by, uh, by Serbian people and Serbian guerrilla. Uh, those pilots were shot down by Nazis and uh, uh, they were rescued uh, and the whole mission was classified. Uh, and it was disclassified 20 years ago and then American writer uh, uh, Gregory uh, Freeman uh, wrote the book Forgotten 500 and I had the honor to be at the promotion of that book and met two of the American pilots uh, who, who were rescued and today I want to give you this book as, as a gift and uh, it goes directly to James Reeves, our friend. And uh, See, that's top quality gun yes. swag right there. And Way better you, than what you get at SHOT Show. And right? after uh, you read that book, uh, uh, the whole zast of a story will make even more sense. Thank you so much, Renko. I, I've got a feigned surprise, but you know, we talked about this over tequila yes. last yes. night. So I knew this was coming, <laughs> but I'm, I'm still really thrilled about it. And speaking of being excited, uh, you have a very exciting announcement. You guys are bringing in a new gun. I say a new gun because yes. it's a gun that's that's existed, but uh, not in the United States, not in this form. You guys are introducing the Zastava M90 to the U.S. audience, right? Yes. Let's because talk this, about this it. This is exclu exclusively at this, uh, this interview. We want you to be the first one to announce it. Uh, as you know, we always uh, try to to improve our existing products by listening uh, to the market. Uh, that's what we've done with the ZPEP uh, M70. As you know, uh, barrels were not chrome line. Then we uh, went back to 1.5 mil uh, receiver, Boltronion. Uh, and then uh, through these uh, uh, months uh, of, of uh, doing business in the United States, uh, uh, especially last maybe uh, uh, 10 or, or, or 12 months, uh, we had a high demand for a 5.56 five, full-size AK. And uh, today I would like to announce that it's coming before summer. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have here a, a sample of that. This is how it's going to come uh, in the, this configuration. Uh, M90 uh, is slightly different uh, than uh, M70. Beside the caliber uh, also features uh, adjustable gas uh, block uh, with three settings. Uh, uh, also, the piston head uh, is uh, it's hollow with the bleed holes. A similar gas system to our uh, DMR rifle M91. Uh, it still comes with Boltronion uh, 1.5 mm receiver. Uh, and uh, we like to promise and uh, so far we were able to keep, uh, keep all our promises. So uh, our promise today is to have this rifle in uh, before summer. Sure, and let's work our way from the front to the back here. I mean, this is going to be what the uh, the threading for the barrel. Are we looking at still 14.1? 14.1, it's a standard uh, uh, thread pitch. Uh, uh, so you have, uh, if you have M70, you can, uh, you can, you know, exchange uh, muzzle devices there. And then the barrel itself, it's uh, two inch longer than the M70 that will also add to uh, accuracy. Of so the about rifle. about 18 inches. 18 and a quarter. Yeah, going to get the, better ballistic the, performance yes, out yes. of it. Yeah. And then, uh, uh, as I mentioned, the gas uh, uh, gas block is adjustable. Uh, we're going to start with this setup with the whole the four grips. Uh, we already have a, a skew for M70, and it turns out to be uh, something that people like. It feels great and it's a good quality for grip. Uh, then, uh, as you can see, we have a new accessory here, the magazine, polymer magazine 556, uh, that will fit our ZPAP 85 as well. That's also something that uh, our customer wanted to have an uh, option uh, beside the steel, steel magazine that we, we have. And then Magpul uh, Zuko foldable stock and, uh, and uh, Magpul uh, pistol grip. Uh, and we truly believe that this setup is uh, is almost perfect. See, and that's what I appreciate. As you said, you kind of listen to your customer base. I like that you guys work with third parties like Magpul, like Hogue, to offer the consumer something. This is uh, similar to what many of us would do with this yes. AK if we got it stock with, you know, say wood, and we wanted to change all that up because that's what everybody's doing anyways. Mm -hmm. Uh, talk to me about the gas block real quick. So why would I mess with the gas block? It's got three settings. Which one's which and why? Yeah. Gas block, uh, uh, the idea behind it is uh, uh, 
for rifle to optimize uh, its performance in different uh, environments. Uh, per owner's manual, uh, we suggest uh, setting three for first 200 rounds, you know, just uh, for the rifle to, to break in. And uh, after that, it goes back to setting two, which should remain uh, unless uh, you put in suppressor or uh, you get into really uh, uh, high temperature environment, uh, mm -hmm. then you would put in a setting one. If the rifle is not maintained uh, properly and you are in a situation where you cannot maintain it, uh, then setting, going back to setting three uh, is suggested. Uh, so that's the, uh, the idea uh, behind the uh, hollow uh, piston head with the bleed holes is, is to have a uh, delayed recoil, which again will, will add to accuracy of the rifle. Furniture compatibility. If I let's say I didn't want for whatever reason the Hogue handguard, or if I wanted to put uh, let's say full length aluminum handguard or something, like, what kind of furniture compatibility are we talking? Yeah, this is exactly the same furniture as M70, so there are uh, options there. Uh, we're gonna also come up with uh, with a few options down the road, uh, but uh, you can put a wood. Uh, wood furniture that it's available for uh, for M70 rifles so that's exactly same setup uh, as you know Yugo Yugo pattern has a uh, little bit longer foregrip so you cannot put any right. other manufacturer but any Yugo foregrip will work on this rifle and this also has a chrome line board as yes. well uh, and uh, you guys typically have done that with your 223s traditionally you just didn't do it with the M70s traditionally until yeah, recently yeah 556 has different uh, uh, ballistic uh, uh, characteristics and that's why the factory engineers decide from the beginning to chrome line it. Right. 762 by 39 was never chrome line until we asked the factory to meet the demand of the American shooters. Now the most important question uh, for any time we do a show video, you already know it's coming, how much is it going to cost and when can I get it? Uh, the exact cost we, we still don't have okay. but it's going to be uh, uh, reasonable. Mm -hmm. uh, when I say reasonable, a lot of people think that our M70s are the best value on the market. Mm -hmm. So we'll look uh, for this rifle uh, to be in a similar range, maybe slightly more uh, than uh, than M70, uh, due to the added sure. features here. And, right. Uh, but it's not going to be something that uh, people who can afford M70 that will not be able to afford this. Now, Renko, before I let you go. There's, I'm going to ask you to choose between two of your children. If there is somebody out there who said, I can only buy one Zostava AK, are they going to want to buy the M70 or the M90? I'll, see, I'll be biased there because uh, I grew up and I have a lot of experience with M70, so I would say M70. Uh, to my oldest son and then youngest son <laughs> <to> the <laughs> so. Well, thanks for being a good sport about this, Renko, and thank you for showing up for GunFest. We thank really you, appreciate thank it. You, thank you very much. We've appreciated working with you guys over the years. Guys, stay tuned. We're going to bring you more GunFest 2021.